We're talking to David Turner from the Bowmore Distillery here on Isla. David, welcome to Whiskey Experts. Thank Good you afternoon. For your time. Uh, you've been distillery manager here for quite a long time. Yeah. You have been working for much longer time. Yeah, I started working in Bowmore on 4th of June 1990, so I've been here just over 31 years. All right. And how did you start? What, <coughs> what was your first job here? I started here when I was 16. I came straight from school. I started out working in the warehouses. I went on to the malt barns in 1992 when I was 18 and I used to go in the malt barns. Then I moved on to do some mashing, some distillation, and I moved to the office in about 2006, 2007, where I took over the head distiller's job. I've been doing the day-to-day -day since about 2006, 2007, and I became the manager in August 2012. And you're not the first one in the family who has uh, ties to Burma, right? No, my grandfather worked here through the 50s, the 60s and the 70s. Right. That yeah. means that your family is involved with Boma for about a quarter to, a, to a one third of the time the distillery exists, right? Yep. My grandfather worked here for a while and I worked here for just over 31 years. Right. Uh, and how was Isla and how was the distillery when you started? How was it different from now? Back in 1990, the tourist season and distilleries more focused, we were making quite a lot for spirit for blended bulk sales. It wasn't totally single malts. Back then we had one full-time visitor centre assistant, two part-time who came in the season for the summer. <coughs> now we have about nine full-time visitor centre assistants. Wow. So the tourist season is much longer. Back in 1990 it was probably from April till October time, mm. but now it's all year round. We get tourists come out of season. Main season is come March to November, but we do get people other three months of the year as well. So I would say there's more people drinking and appreciating single malts than there was back then. Mm. We are now here in ward number one, <coughs> the oldest warehouse of, of uh, Bowmore. But uh, I read that you think that the soul of the distillery is not so much <coughs> the warehouse itself, but it's much more of the floor maltings you're doing. Why is it so? Yep. Every part of the process is important. The maturation in the warehouse, this is the oldest Scotch maturation warehouse in the world. Mm. It's date back to 1779. The big thick stone walls there. It's cool and damp, perfect conditions for maturing their whiskey. It's never above seven or eight degrees in here all year round, but all the flavours, in my personal opinion, start out in the malt barns. Mm -hmm. The floor malt, that's where Beaumore's renowned tropical fruit flavours start off. They start off in the floor maltings. It's the way we mash it. We don't stir the mash tun very often. We get a semi-clear wort coming through. Mm -hmm. It's the two different types of yeast we use in the fermentation. We ferment for 62 hours and our distillation is slow. So it's all these parts of the process and it's also important the quality of the casts that we put our new make spirit into. You've got to have good new make spirit but you've got to put it into good wooden casts to get the final product a good whiskey. So in my personal honest opinion the tropical fruit notes that's Bo more renowned for start out in the malt barns and they work their way right through the process. Is there already an expression that only use uh, the, the, the floor malted barley from the distillery alone? No, we have whiskey maturing mm. that's made from 100% floor malt but we've never released a whiskey that's been... Are you thinking about doing something like yeah, that? Yeah, watch your space, we'll have something in the, in the near to long term future. Perfect. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't know Beaumont and he has <coughs> his first whiskey from your distillery, what would you recommend for that person? Which one should he try first? I think a good starting point is a Beaumont 12 year old. Isla is renowned for its peaty whiskies. People who are unfamiliar with Isla and their whiskies, the minute you mention Isla, they always think about peat, but not all the distilleries are about peat on Isla. Traditionally, in the north of Isla, they're very, very lightly peated. Mm -hmm. On the south, they're very heavily peated. Coincidentally, Beaumont sits in the middle of Isla. So we are actually, our peating range is in between the north and in between the south. So we see ourselves or call ourselves a mid-range or a perfectly balanced Isla whisky. And from the last uh, releases uh, here uh, at Beaumont, which one would be your favourite? My day-to-day -day dram 
is the 15 year old, the 15 year old dark, rich, intense, it's really good, but I now think the 12 year old is fantastic quality as well, so I was a big fan of the 15, but my mind's starting to swing towards the 12, the 12 I think is fantastic value for money. David, thank you for your time, thank you for the interview, and have a great time here. Now. Okay, thanks, cheers, bye.